All right, thank you. We're now joined by the best high school basketball player in the state in class of 2020. He is shooting guard Keon Johnson from the Webb School in Bell Buckle, who this week committed to play at the University of Tennessee as athletics director Scott Dorsett with us as well. Um, Keon, we'll start with you. How does it feel to finally make this big announcement? Uh, it feels amazing um, just having the weight off my shoulders as far as people asking me where I'm going and the, my family's pressure of asking me where I'm going as well. And you've known for two months now where you're going to school. Has Rick Barnes known for two months? No, sir. He found out just like everyone else. I bet you that was nerve-wracking. Uh, what do you bring to the table? I mean, you had a chance to go to Ohio State or Virginia or Tennessee. Why Tennessee over those two? I feel that Coach Barnes and his staff can uh, put me to the league and help me grow as a player. What separates you from other guys? I know you averaged 25 points last year, eight rebounds, three assists. It's a pretty good stat line to go to college with. Um, my defensive tenacity, as well as me starting a fast break, and they feel that I'm a good passer running the fast break as well. And, and I guess what's the long-term goal? I mean, you want to stay at UT for four years. Obviously, you got a good education at the web. Would you like to stay at UT four years or maybe jump to the NBA? We've seen guys locally do that. Uh, whatever God has in plan for me. Yeah. Um, how important is your education there at the, at the web school? Uh, it's very important, which is why I stuck with it all four years throughout my high school. Yeah, and Scott, I've heard you mention numerous times just about his faith and character as a young man. I mean, you, you can't say enough about him. No, oh, he's, he, he's been a, uh, a tremendous asset to the web school just in, in the way he carries himself. And, you know, like I said the other night, I said it's great that here's a young man that you don't see a, much, a bunch of these days that not only cares about playing basketball, but he also cares about making people better around him. He does it with his teammates, and he does it with the people on campus. Why do you think a guy like Keon, who's been so good on and off the court, has kind of flew under the radar this, to this point? Um, you know, For I, his first two years of high school, at least. Yeah, it, you know, when Keon came in as a freshman, you know, you knew he was just an unbelievable talent. And uh, um, I just think that a lot of people hadn't seen him. You know, he was in a small community up there. And you hear stories, well, here's a middle school kid that can dunk a basketball. Uh, but nobody really knew anything about him. And uh, so when he got up at Webb and, you know, we do play in a conference that is, is pretty good with CPA and BGA and Absolutely. FRA. So a lot of uh, exposure there. I think it was a, a stage that was perfectly set for him. And you've told me the story before, the FCA story about the kids that he had a chance to speak to and the story that he shared. Share, share that with us. An amazing story about the oh yes it's the it was one where yeah, you go left or you go right yeah just tremendous again you know i could i could sit here and give a story about keon that when he started in the road that he was kind of going down which was and i think he'll admit was not the kind of road that you want to go down mm -hmm. and this was the journey the beginning of the journey for him and what was really awesome is to uh to see this over four years you know i remember him coming into my office and saying hey Coach Dill, I don't know if I can do this. He said, I, I, you know, the homework's hard. I don't know if I can do this. Right. But he sucks it up. Last three semesters, he's been on a roll. Um, he's been the leader of our FCA program with another young man, Wesley Ledbetter. And, you know, he comes in and I said, well, you give your testimony. And uh, he, he came in and uh, all the students are in there. It's a pretty packed house. And it was amazing as he goes through the storyline and, and ex, this, it kind of explains where he's been. Right. And, and nobody really knows who he's talking about. And he's got a little PowerPoint and he's got the road and uh, uh, a big path to the right that's real easy to go to and then mm -hmm. a very narrow path over here to the left. And as he goes through this, he says, you know, I've decided to go down the narrow path. It's harder, but this is where I want to go. And he said, that little kid that I've been talking about is me. Man, those, those kids in that room just absolutely locked on him. And, you know, I've told him, you know, I haven't really bugged him much about, even though I'm a Tennessee fan, <laughs> I haven't been bugging him much about where he's going to school. You know, I've just been trying to communicate to him about, you know, God's given you a great platform here, and I hope you can, you can use this to not only further your basketball and your, your academic career, but, you know, to be able to get out there and, and, and just – say what you got to say and he's done a tremendous job so far yeah and, and all this talent is staying home going to Tennessee that's mm -hmm. kind of different you don't hear that too often why was that important to you um my family being there to support me 
as well as my little brother and little sister. So. And they're going to, I guess they have season tickets now. They're going to be there all the time, right? <laughs> yes, sir. And what's the ultimate dream? I mean, obviously you want to go to the NBA, right? Yes, sir. Um, the ultimate dream is going to the NBA, but I feel that having the education as well. Absolutely. What do you want to accomplish at, at UT? You know, they had a good year last year. They're kind of on the rise with Rick Barnes. Uh, national championship. So. What is it going to take to get there? A couple more pieces. We'll keep that on the low. You gonna you gonna do some recruiting already? <laughs> Not on national TV. Not on national TV. All right. Well, uh, we thank you guys for coming in. Best of luck. Uh, first day of school at the Web School is tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thank you. Thanks.